Okay, so I've been doing some research. Remember when we went up to Mount Waratah Fire Trail and we saw Louise is having yes, trouble. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. I remember now. We saw a young gum sapling and it was crawling with ants and we couldn't work out what was going on. So I got in touch with one of our friends who knows stuff, Roger, and sent him a little bit of video from the day and said, what's going on here? What are these ants interested in? And he has told me that. If I look carefully at the video, I hadn't noticed until he pointed it out, underneath the ants are little creatures called gum tree hoppers. And gum tree hoppers live on eucalypts. They uh, put their eggs on the eucalypt and then when the eggs hatch, the nymphs come out and they are the dreaded term, sap suckers. And sap suckers, they have a long kind of a nose snouty proboscis, it's called. Rostrum, it's called. Thank you. Right. Roger did say proboscis. Oh. All right. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, they've got this pointy snouty whatever that they stick into the sapling and they suck out the sap from the young stems of the tree. They're wanting to grow and turn into proper grown-up gum tree hoppers. So they suck the sap and there's not a lot of actual true nutritional growing value in the sap, but there is a hell of a lot of sugar. So they don't need the sugar. They're looking for the more nutritious elements in the sap. And so they poop out the sugary, watery stuff at and the other the end. And there's the ready to pick it pick up. up. That's the right. Poop. It's called honeydew, darling. Oh, which that I sounds think's... a lot nicer. <laughs> and the ants collect the honeydew and take it back down to their nest for later on. They're creating a little pantry with it. And so the ants are actually protective of the little nymphs. They keep them safe from... Uh, lady beetles and parasitic wasps. Keep them alive so they can keep on pooping out. Delightful Sugary honeydew. honeydew, that's right. <laughs> so the ants are referred to as tending the nymphs. And this kind of relationship, Roger tells me, is called a beneficial mutualism. So we'll put up a little bit of uh, footage of that on YouTube and some photos. And I also asked him, you'll see in the photos, there are galls on the leaves, which are signs where insects have put eggs as well. And he says those galls aren't related <laughs> to the gum tree hoppers. Uh, they're just something else that's coincidentally put the eggs on the same poor old tree, which is under siege. Hmm. How about that? Yep. Yeah. yeah.